Hello everyone, this is Telemachus and today we are going to be practicing how to manually obfuscate a malicious PowerShell script. We are going to use Hoxel to generate a reversal payload and apply a number of common techniques to hopefully evade Microsoft Defender. So here we are, Defender is up and running. We are going to use Hoxel to generate a reversal payload. We are going to grab this and paste it into PowerShell and start obfuscating parts. So the simplest thing we can start with is splitting strings into smaller parts. So for example, this is the attacker's IP, this is supposed to connect back here and it's a string and we can just split it into multiple strings and this sometimes alone will work. We can even add some blank strings just to make this weird. This is the mission here, we're just trying to weird things up enough so that AMC will say, I don't know what that is, okay, let's, let's go with it and who knows, maybe maybe it will be bad we'll see we'll see after so let's keep doing this with strings in the payload another thing that we can do it doesn't really have much success in my experience but you know multiple things together work better we can just change the the case of some characters in some of the elements of the url of the payloads i'm sorry let's go a little bit further do this here here okay i'm gonna run this i don't think we're there yet i don't think it's gonna work okay it's still uh it's still the flagged so we're not here that just stay with me we're gonna make it i swear okay at this point let's apply a third technique this is something that has much more success in my experience and it's this as we execute commands, uh, PowerShell has some feature. I don't really know why it is working like this. I'm, I don't know what's the legitimate purpose of this, but as long as uh, a commandlet is not starting with a, a single or double quote, which would, of course, PowerShell will, will characterize it as a string immediately, uh, you can have single or double quotes in between uh, a commandlet's characters, and this will still run. Uh, or even you can have multiple for example you can have this it's just ignoring it and executing the command which is amazing to do obfuscation so we can just apply this to commandlets and this in my experience is really effective so let's do this a bit here and there And if we run this again, probably, yeah, we did it. We bypassed it. Okay, but I would like to know at this point what exactly of all of these things worked. Because I think it's important to see this. So I'm going to close everything and restart. I'm going to get a new, a fresh payload. And I'm just going to paste it here and I'm we don't have a string concatenation characters different case nothing we are 0, 0 0.0 and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty confident that this alone here can do the trick so yeah it's just working it's such a minor change and still it's bypassing it at this point i don't believe this is going to be the case forever it's just a missing part of information defender will get wise against this and this is a good thing but this is just an example of ways to evade this thing and still keep using the payloads you like that, of, of course, their destiny is to get flagged. So let's put some wisdom in what we're trying to do here. There's an amazing tool called, called AMC Trigger. I don't know if you have ever used this, but this can help us uh, identify all of the malicious strings in a PowerShell file by repeatedly making calls to AMC using AMC scan buffer line by line. On receiving an AMC result detected response code, the line will then be scratchy blatulated to identify the individual triggers. Okay, you get the point. I've never seen this word in my life. Whatever. Uh, this thing is written by Rhythm Stick. I guess this, he's probably playing the drums. Uh, this guy, except of being awesome, he also looks to be hilarious. I wish I could hang out with him, but I don't know him. But uh, here in his repository, we can go to releases and he has pre-compiled executables of, of this tool and you can just download and use it if you're brave enough or stupid enough or both i'm very stupid so i have downloaded it 
And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna generate a new fresh payload. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna put it in a file. Payload. I'm gonna paste it. Let's change the file type. Here's one. Yes, I'm gonna open PowerShell here. And we're going to use MC Trigger. And we're gonna pass the payload with dash i. And hopefully it's gonna tell us what exactly in the payload is getting flagged. And let's see. This string here is what MC doesn't like and doesn't approve. Okay, let's pay let's paste our payload here too. Uh, I need to copy it again. So what are we looking at here? Um, headers and authorization. We're here. Uh, here. This is the part headers at authorization delia con dot content. Sorry, that was Greek. Uh, so something in here until the join part until here this is really what it doesn't like this part what is characteristic about this that we can just change you know what i think this is the most characteristic thing and the, the easiest to get rid of okay so if it doesn't like this word the string we can just go and do something like We'll do a new variable xxxx equals none and we're gonna go here and replace this with xxxx and hopefully this will be enough come on man you can do it okay another thing we can do and this was uh, like calculated we didn't just randomly change <coughs> and add things we just we used the tool we said okay this is this is malicious this is what it doesn't like we change something kind of fundamentally okay no that's an overstatement we change something significant and we made it work and it was really simple you know but let's look at this another way let's be creative here okay we have the intelligence now we know what it doesn't like and Another thing we can do with this to would be to just replace it with something else, for example, and I'm just giving it as an example, not for Hoxel only, but generally speaking. Uh, we have a template that, well, obviously this program is using payload templates to generate payloads and somewhere in the template, this, this word, because this is a string, it's not a, a Boolean type or something like that somewhere this none exists so maybe we can just go and find it and replace it um, with something we're using HTTP payload so I'm going to open this HTTP payload and I'm gonna find none yep not, not equal to none I'm gonna change this to please subscribe and save and of course somewhere okay i know the architecture of the program i'm not playing dumb here uh, but this is not something hard you can you can really easily just grab out where a string none appears you could just grab it out and okay i kind of know that it is in voxel.py uh, if we search for this string that is sending none because it's also essential for the program's uh, uh, general functionality. This keyword here because it's saying to the poison to the poison machine, just don't do anything now. Just hang on, no commands yet. So please subscribe, and hopefully now we won't even have to obfuscate at all gonna generate payload again this string will now be somewhere here must be please subscribe 
and guess it's right here and uh, let's just run it okay I'm gonna copy this hopefully this let's just run it here now no clipboard nothing let's just put this here <laughs> it just worked like that I would just change the string and it worked out of the box and there's certainly more we can do with this wisdom here there are many elements we can mess with what else could that be okay it doesn't have to be really complex authorization equals i okay we see this a bit okay so what if we do something stupid like let's generate a new payload fresh we're gonna grab this paste it in here this is getting flagged so let's work with it okay this i variable is the string so what if we just remove this and say whatever is i just just here's your string okay it's, it's gonna be a bit longer but we can we can work with that it's not that long anyway and i is here as well come on i this and hopefully it worked that's it it's not that mad and that crazy it's easy to do no payload will last forever nothing lasts forever uh, evading adiviruses is part of uh, penetration testing hacking red teaming call it whatever you want call yourself whatever you want it doesn't matter this is something you have to do to know what to do don't don't just wait for content creators uh, malware engineers whatever people that create stuff like that to just to, for them to just be always working of course they will be flagged if they didn't get flagged the world would be a darker place and this is very good but from a security testing perspective this is a small glimpse of what evading with power cell looks like so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something please subscribe or share if you liked it and uh, thank you for watching